It's all about just patience and kind of you need to you need to do a very gentle movements. So I flew on a on a real helicopter simulator a while back, long time ago. So I remember you need to be very gentle. So I'll turn on my joystick cam so you can see what I'm doing. And I, I unfortunately I cannot show you my pedals, but I am using a lot of pedals. So right now we're just learning how to hover on this thing. <laughs> so there it is. That's not not that hard. So then I'm gonna apply some collective now and then just pitch forward a little bit. There it is. I'm using left left rudder. Lots of left rudders to keep us straight. And there you go. Yeah, it's it. And then we're gonna use left rudder and just turn left. There we go. So we're gonna come in for a landing and I'll show you. I'll show you that it's not that bad actually. So we'll come in for a landing. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just looking at my airspeed, looking at vertical speed. So I'm gonna bleed off that, that airspeed now, and we're gonna come in for a landing right now on this exact same spot. So there it is. Just gotta be really, really patient with it. Okay, there's a vertical speed. There we go. We're gonna come in right at that H. There we go. Okay, so lots, lots and lots of rudder. So I'm looking at a nice descent here. There we go. Just, just kind of aim down. So we have about 20 knots now. And we're going to hover and then come in for a landing. That's my problem. No patience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to be very, very gentle with the, with this heli. And, and I really like how they've simulated the vortex ring and everything. So it's really cool. I really hope we're not going to get into the vortex ring today. Okay, so... Lots more collective, lots more collectives, just patiently, patiently coming in to land. There it is. Okay, so what <laughs> the good thing about it is that you need to apply lots of control. So when for every movement you need to you need to look at collective, you need to look at your pedals, and of course the cyclic as well. Okay, and there we go. And that's the landing right here. There we go. Pirouette is like an orbit around it, so thanks a lot, Ramsey, for the raid. Appreciate the raid. And welcome, everyone. Welcome, Raiders. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we're just trying out the new update. I just couldn't wait to jump on the helicopter today. I just got so excited that the helicopters are finally here proper helicopters. Not that I'm saying anything bad about the H145. I love H145, but the 407 is just a really, really nice bird. So there it is. This maneuver is called Pirouette, and it's basically uh, a lot of rudder. A lot of I'm using a lot of left rudder, and while I'm doing the ref, left rudder, my cyclic is, is all the way well, kind of to the right. Not all the way, but and then I always always control my collective, which is sort of like my gas. And, uh, and yeah, I appreciate the VIP monthly support. That's uh, that's amazing. Thanks for for supporting the stream. All right, and of course your stars are awesome. Thanks. Maybe we'll have enough stars so I can finally buy the real airplane. We'll see. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, who knows, right? Who knows? Roberto, thank you so much for the 50. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, and look how awesome New York is. There's just so many custom buildings and I have a pretty good FPS. So now we're flying to, to the, to the um, Times Square. So we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna check out Times Square. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna bleed off that airspeed. Reduce the collective, reduce it, and bleed off that airspeed. Bleed it off, 50. Increase the collective now, increase it. There we go. So now we're we're pretty much almost hovering. There it is, now we're hovering, almost. So 20 knots, and now I'm gonna make sure, okay, I think I got into a vortex ring. Let's break it, there we go. So if you start descending 
fairly quickly. It means you got into a vortex ring. Make sure you go. Is this realistic? Oh, it is. It is. It is realistic. It is quite. Real. So if you if you if you start to drop, make sure you put the stick forward. So you gotta break that vortex ring. Vortex ring is when you catch your own wake, and the wake is kind of pushing you down, right? So, so make sure you push the stick forward. Just remember that, because you'll probably catch that wake at some point. And that happens if you how if you start hovering and you start descending. That typically what typically what happens. So there it is. Now we're just hovering in the Times Square. Oh, look at that. Mean girls. I really wish... Uh, is this a realistic scenario? Yeah, yeah, so it is. Where choppers fly through the building. <laughs> no, 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 this is, uh, this is the New York, right? So, New York... Uh, custom scenery so it has all of the new york landmarks so this is times square right now so the see there's the mics of flight simulator ad right here in, in a times square there's mcdonald's you guys want to get some burgers okay let me just let's just land here near near the mcdonald's i'm gonna i'm gonna probably land it like right in the center okay so now increase the collective and then just come to a hover make sure we don't clip that traffic light and actually, you know what? I'm just gonna proceed a bit further. I'm, I'm really, I really nervous around these uh, light poles. So we're gonna, we're gonna land right next to the taxi cabs right here. All right. So there we go. And. We land now. Very nice simulated ground effect. I really like how the ground effect is simulated. Very nice. There it is, just landed in the Times Square. I'm still waiting for advertising to start supporting streamers. That's why they're... Uh, f that fly, they're there advertising. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> By the way, look at this. You can open this thing. See? Isn't it amazing? So, it's a bit quiet. The rotors are quiet if you turn it, if you open it. <laughs> you can hear it really well. So, I love the fact how, like, this... See? Like, if you just open it a little bit, you start hearing it louder. So, okay, uh, Roberto is asking, when you land, do you work RPM and collective controls more? Absolutely. So, it's very, when you land, it's important not only that you have... Oh my god, what is this truck doing? Okay, I gotta get out of here. Okay, what? What is he doing? He was just gonna run us over. All right, let's do something crazy, shall we? Let's fly through the Verrazano Bridge. Let's do it now. Let's align, align to the bridge. There we go, and let's fly through it. There we go. All right. Let's try not to hit anything. Let's try not to hit those cables. Ooh, oh my goodness, we're getting close. Okay. Yep. There we go. Lots of pedals. Lots of pedals. Lots of collective. There it is. And just to show you that we won't hit anything, there you go. We actually do have a really good clearance from the cables. At least so far. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Just getting a bit closer. Okay, there we go. Just maintain that center line. And we are off. There we go. Oh, I love the sound of the wakes. Did you hear that? The sound of the wakes are amazing. There's the collective. And we can kind of go the other way. So right, right pedal. Right pedal. And of course, we don't want to get too close. But we can also take a look at the details. There it is. Nice. There we go, July 4th. And let's take a look at the torch. Very nice precision movements over here. There's the golden torch. Man, I should be a news chopper pilot. <laughs> I 
There, there's a quick hover. We're almost touching it, almost. There's lots of birds over here, so we'll do a bit of a left left turn and gonna go towards the Manhattan. You could hear the wakes. I love the fact that you can hear the wake turbulence as you turn around. Beautiful. So amazing that they did this in this update. It's just incredible. There's Manhattan. So let's see if we can do some something nice and fun. So let's do an auto rotation. And let's see if I succeed. If I don't succeed, then I don't succeed. Okay. Let's see if I can do an auto rotation to the helipad. So we'll simulate an engine failure. And then let's see if I'll be able to do it. Let me just get a bit closer to it. All right. So engine failure. Oh my God. Oh my God. Engine failure. Oh, no, no, no. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, so I'm going to land at that helipod. Helipod right there. So make sure we get... We gain that speed. Okay, so 40 knots. Alright, judging the glide. Judging the glide. There we go. So now we need to be very careful. So that we... We kind of maintain that balance. Engine, uh, engine is off now. Engine is off now. Bleeding the speed. Bleeding the speed. There we go. We're going to auto-rotate right into that helipad right here okay nose nose down nose down nose down collective 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 there we go collective there we go and we just sort of rotated and did an emergency landing i don't hear the clapping what's going on <laughs> all right yeah i hope you enjoyed that so this is what uh, auto rotation is all about mm, you know nothing hard really just a whole bunch of inputs.